Hello everybody, in this video we're going to be talking about how to do scene transitions inside of OBS Studio, which is one of the things I believe this version of the app does a bit better than the original. And the idea here is that whenever you have one scene, you may want to switch to a different scene on the fly. Now at the most basic level, you could simply click between the two different scenes. But in reality, if you're recording something, screencasting, whatever, you're probably not going to be able to just come in here and manually do this, and it would just be a mess. So one thing you can actually do is to set hotkeys. That's the uh, probably basic solution. And if you go up to File and Settings, we can find the hotkeys menu over here. And you can see that for each scene you've set up, they will allow you to set three different hotkeys. Show image, hide image, and the one we're uh, actually looking for that's relevant to us. Switch to scene. Currently I have it set to shift one and shift two. So what we could do is while we were recording, we set up hotkeys that aren't relevant to the recording itself. Something that would be a little strange to just hit randomly. Uh, and we can just hit those keys and immediately transition between two different scenes. Now, another thing we can do is actually use the studio mode, and this doesn't really change how we transition, but it allows us to see a preview of what we're going to be transitioning to before we actually do it. So whatever's on the right is what's currently showing in the video, and whatever's on the left is what we're going to transition to. So if we want to change what we're going to transition to, uh, while we're in studio mode, we just click on that scene, and we could hit transition, which will move that uh, the selected uh, transition target over to the right in the live mode and it puts whatever scene we had before back over here on the left where we can transition back to it again so that kind of thing would be useful if you're for instance going on a break mode if you were live streaming um, but you get the idea there and then of course you can change the different uh, scene transitions basically k uh, cut and fade are the basic ideas cut is instant fade is going to transition over a period of time which is the milliseconds amount and uh, yeah as you can see here you can you don't have to actually select the scene transition in the bottom right you can simply click between them but the optimal way to do this really i do believe is to have hotkeys set you don't want to be looking at the obs studio interface unless uh, for some reason, the person who's recording the video is also not the one managing OBS Studio. Like if you have a control room guy in the background, I mean, I don't think most people can have that level of a production, but uh, general idea there. Um, so yeah, set up hotkeys. That's my recommendation. And then you can simply switch between them uh, in non-studio mode by hitting Shift 1 and Shift 2, or you can go back into studio mode. Uh, the thing is, though, if you are in studio mode, um, hitting the hotkeys will only queue up the transition. It won't actually put it live. So that's one thing to keep in mind. If you want to do the final transition, you can hit the transition button there. Or you can go up to File Settings and look for the hotkey to do a studio mode transition, which would be uh, basically right here. Transition, Quick Transition Cut or a quick transition fade, uh, which is an alternate way you can do it. Um, for instance, I'll just demonstrate it here really quick. We'll make this shift three, shift four, shift five, hit apply, go back here. So we want to do the default transition, which is a fade, and it will fade to there with shift F3. If we want to do, uh, we, we bound cut to shift four, so we can do immediate cuts. And we can also do uh, fade with F5. And we can also do a fade with Shift-5. Now, Shift-5 will always be a fade, but Shift-3, just a flat-out transition, that depends on what's selected down here in the bottom right for scene transitions. So that's going to be all for this video on how to set up and use transitions inside of OBS Studio. I hope you found this helpful, and I'll see you in my next video.